Hey there folks, this is Brant Range from BrantRange.com, um, giving you a video tutorial based on a text tutorial that I wrote on my website, BrantRange.com, um, about how to rip a Blu-ray to a Mac and then convert it into, uh, into specified file formats, either for your portable devices or your computer. Um, links to the software and hardware that I use in this tutorial will be available in the uh, description below, and I'll also throw the... Um, my text instructions of how to do all of this in there as well. Uh, so the first things that you're going to need to get started are, of course, Blu-ray movie, and then also an external uh, Blu-ray disk drive. Again, the hardware and software that I use in this tutorial will be in the available in uh, the description below. So now we are going. Now that you've seen the hardware, I am going to show you the software side. Okay, so this is uh, what your screen will look like once you've connected a, uh, the Blu-ray drive and put a Blu-ray in, so BD for Blu-ray disc. The first thing that you're going to want to do is click on Make MKV. What this program al allows you to do is it decrypts the disc, and that allows you to actually rip its contents uh, to your desktop. Now all you have to do is click on this, and this process takes about a minute, so I am going to actually fast forward so you don't have to deal with it. All right, so here we are. Um, what you'll be greeted with uh, once you're done with that is this screen. Now, for a TV show, it's a little different than a movie. Uh, with a movie, you will have one larger file, uh, much like this one, which is an aggregate of all of these episodes. But for a TV show, it just has the individual episodes. Now that you now you will see that these uh, videos are actually pretty large. They're six gigabytes a piece uh, before they're converted. Um, one way to lessen the load on your hard drive is to uh, deselect all of these subtitles and uh, separate audio tracks. That cuts down on it a bit. And once you're ready, just click on Make MKV, and that will rip the contents of the disk onto your computer. Um, that process usually takes about an hour per disk, so I have pre-ripped part of it um, for the purpose of this tutorial, and I'll show you what to do once you're done with that. So you'll be left with a bunch of .mkv files, uh, but they are pretty large and you can't just drag and drop them into iTunes or put them on devices. So you're gonna need to convert them. Uh, and the program I use for that is Any Video Converter HD. Um, it's available on the Mac App Store, it's six bucks. Um, it's the best one that I found because of this really simple interface. All you have to do is select what device that you would like uh, to play your media on. So in this case, I will choose a, a full HD iPad click and drag and as you can see it is creating a converted file uh, in the right format um, the format rather that's compatible with the iPad uh, and this process depending on um, what you want to convert this file uh, to will take a different amount of time but um, but usually it's going to be about 15 to 20 minutes um, and that's really all, all that there is to it uh, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, again, links to the software and hardware that I've used uh, during it will be available in the description below. Uh, please take a look at my site. Uh, and if you like this video, please like it on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to this channel where I'll be doing more tutorials uh, of the like and share. And of course, uh, leave comments on my site and on this video uh, telling me whether or not I did a, a good job. Okay, uh, th once again, this has been Brant Ranch from BrantRange.com. Thank you very, very much, and stay classy.